Welcome back to CGK, Curiosities about General Knowledge. In this video, we're going to explore the Inca Civilization, one of the most impressive and advanced civilizations in history. Here are five fascinating facts that you need to know. Curiosity 1 Machu Picchu Machu Picchu is an ancient Inca city located in the Andes Mountains of Peru. It was built in the 15th century, during the height of the Inca Empire and was abandoned just over 100 years later during the Spanish conquest of the region. The city was rediscovered in 1911 by American historian Hiram Bingham, and since then it has become one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. What makes Machu Picchu so fascinating is its unique location and architecture. The city was built on a steep slope between two mountains, and many of the buildings were constructed using a technique known as ashlar in which large blocks of stone are cut and fit together without mortar. The city also features an impressive system of terraces that were used for farming, as well as a series of aqueducts and canals that brought water to the city. While the purpose of Machu Picchu is still not fully understood, it is believed to have served as a royal estate or retreat for the Inca emperor. The city is also thought to have had religious significance, with some of its buildings and structures aligned to astronomical events such as solstices and equinoxes. Today, Machu Picchu is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most visited tourist attractions in South America. Curiosity 2 The Inca Empire The Inca Empire was the largest empire in pre-Columbian America, covering a vast area that includes parts of modern-day Peru, Bolivia, Chile, Argentina, and Ecuador. It was founded in the early 13th century and reached its height under the rule of Emperor Pachacuti in the mid-15th century. The empire was eventually conquered by the Spanish in the 16th century. One of the unique features of the Inca Empire was its centralized government. The emperor, who was considered a living god, held absolute power over the government, the economy, and the military. He was supported by a complex administrative system that included regional governors and local officials who were responsible for carrying out his orders. The Inca Empire also had a sophisticated system of roads and bridges that allowed for easy communication and trade between different regions. These roads were built to withstand earthquakes and other natural disasters and were constructed using a technique known as, mita, in which citizens were required to work on public projects in exchange for food and other necessities. In terms of religion, the Inca Empire was polytheistic and believed in a wide array of gods and goddesses. The most important of these was the sun god Inti, who was considered the patron deity of the empire. The Inca also practiced human sacrifice, although it was reserved for special occasions and was not as widespread as in other civilizations at the time. Overall, the Inca Empire was a complex and highly organized society that left a lasting impact on the history and culture of South America. Its legacy can still be seen today in the architecture, art, and traditions of the Andean region. Curiosity 3 Quipus Quipus were a unique system of record-keeping used by the Inca civilization. They consisted of long, colored strings made from the fibers of the Andean camelid known as the alpaca or llama. The strings were tied into knots of various sizes and colors, with each knot representing a different type of information such as numbers, dates, and events. The use of quipus allowed the Inca to keep track of a vast array of information, including agricultural yields, census data, and taxes. They were also used for historical record-keeping and for communicating messages across long distances. While the exact method of using quipus is still not fully understood, it is believed that they were read by trained officials known as kipakamayak. These officials would have been able to interpret the knots and colors to understand the information being conveyed. One interesting aspect of quipus is that they were used in conjunction with an oral tradition. In other words, the information stored on the quipus was not meant to be read in isolation, but rather in conjunction with the stories and oral traditions of the Inca. This allowed for a more holistic understanding of history and culture. Despite their importance in Inca society, much of the knowledge of how to read and use quipus was lost after the Spanish conquest of South America. Today, Scholars are still working to decipher the information stored on quipus and to better understand the role they played in Inca civilization. Curiosity 4 Inca Agriculture Inca agriculture was a complex and sophisticated system that allowed the civilization to thrive in the Andean region. Despite the challenging terrain and variable climate, the Inca were able to cultivate a wide variety of crops, 
including potatoes, corn, quinoa, beans, and various types of squash. One of the key innovations of Inca agriculture was their use of terrace farming. This involved carving steep mountainsides into a series of flat terraces that could be used for planting crops. The terraces were carefully designed to allow for proper drainage and irrigation, and were often constructed using stone walls that helped to prevent erosion. In addition to terrace farming, the Inca also made use of other techniques to maximize their agricultural output. These included crop rotation, which helped to maintain soil fertility, and the use of guano, bird droppings, as a natural fertilizer. Another important aspect of Inca agriculture was their system of crop storage. Because of the variability of the climate in the Andes, it was important for the Inca to have a way to store food for times of scarcity. They accomplished this by building large, underground storage facilities known as Kul Ka. These facilities were often built into the sides of hills and were designed to keep food cool and dry. Overall, Inca agriculture was a remarkable achievement that allowed the civilization to sustain a large population in a challenging environment. It remains an important legacy of the Inca civilization, and continues to inspire modern agricultural practices in the Andean region and beyond. Curiosity 5 Inca Mummies The Inca civilization had a complex and unique system of mummification that was reserved for members of the elite class, such as emperors, queens, and other high-ranking officials. The mummification process was seen as a way to preserve the physical bodies of these important individuals so that their spirits could continue to watch over the living. The process of Inca mummification involved first removing the internal organs and treating the body with salt and other preservatives. The body was then wrapped in layers of cloth and adorned with jewelry and other decorative items. In some cases, the mummies were placed in seated positions and displayed in temples or other sacred sites. One interesting aspect of Inca mummies is that they were often transported to different locations throughout the empire. This was done as a way to maintain the connection between the living and the dead, and to reinforce the power and authority of the Inca emperor. In addition to being objects of religious reverence, Inca mummies were also important for scientific study. In recent years, researchers have used modern technology to study the mummies and gain insights into Inca society and culture. For example, studies of Inca mummies have revealed information about their diet, health, and even the presence of certain diseases. Today, Inca mummies remain an important part of the cultural heritage of South America. They are often displayed in museums and other cultural institutions, where they continue to inspire awe and fascination among visitors. And there you have it, 5 fascinating facts about the Inca civilization. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.